A couple of weeks ago, we told you about Blacksburg native Ian Ho, who will swim in the 50 meter freestyle at the Olympics for Team Hong Kong. His journey to becoming an Olympian took many twists and turns, but his parents watching it unfold from thousands of miles away. Just talking about all the things that have happened in this past year and a half were absolutely absurd. When Ian Ho qualified for the Tokyo Olympics last month in Hong Kong, his parents were watching from the other side of the world in Blacksburg. I didn't sleep. I was just waiting for five, five o'clock so that I can get up and turn on my phone. The accomplishment was a culmination of a journey that once seemed out of reach when Ian learned in January of 2020 that he wasn't even eligible to compete for Hong Kong. They have a residency rule that they that they told me about last minute, and so I wouldn't have been able to go. I found out that I actually can't represent Hong Kong because I hadn't lived in Hong Kong for one year. But Ian still had plans to swim in international meets, including one in April of 2020, till his plans were turned upside down because of COVID-19. As the uh, pandemic progresses, um, we uh, I listened to the news, Hong Kong news, um, and realized uh, Hong Kong is planning on closing their border March 19. He, he still needs to go to Hong Kong to race. A few hours time, uh, yeah. bought a ticket, I say, we're going in a few hours. And he, he landed in Hong Kong uh, a few hours before the border is closed. Mm -hmm. A few hours. A few hours, yeah. The meet Ian planned to swim in was canceled, and the Olympics were postponed to 2021, which became a silver lining as the extra time gave Ian a chance to fulfill his residency requirement. We were on the phone with Ian. He said, my coach asked me to stay for a whole year. Then, then we just asked him, what will hold you back here? Are you really able to stay in Hong Kong? But with training facilities closed in the United States, Ian had no choice. With the pandemic happening, I actually got trapped here. And so ended up forming a nice group of training partners out here in the same situation as me. Being able to come back to Hong Kong to train in like a closed environment. Yeah, we are very supportive of his decision because we think um, it's just one year. I mean, you probably won't have a chance like this in your lifetime. Hong Kong became Ian's home away from home. But with months to go until the Summer Olympics, another setback. I had a, I had a health checkup in February where they told me I had to get heart surgery before they, before they would allow me to swim. Ian had an irregular heartbeat that needed to be addressed. The procedure putting another pause in his preparations. But in order to make sure I wouldn't die, they had to do, do surgery. And so that happened in February. The, those three weeks was um, stressful. We were on the phone with him a lot. You, it was also during lockdown. So it was a, to me, it was a mental hurdle. He has to do this procedure and, or else we cannot let him swim anymore. Mm. Mm. So it just came down to that. Ian did return to the pool, and five months later, he's Tokyo bound, a journey he and his parents have endured together on different continents. I, I know this is a huge accomplishment and wonderful news, but my son is so far away, it's like the other side of the world. So it's, it feels a little strange also. It's been okay. Not to say that I don't miss them or don't wish they could be here with me. They've honestly been so great and they've supported me through this entire thing. I'm happy, I'm super happy for him. Um, I can't wait to see him. We can't wait to see him as well. Ian Ho will compete in the preliminary heats of the 50 meter freestyle on Friday, July 30th in Tokyo. Then his parents, of course, looking forward to having him home for the first time since March of 2020. Not only will he reunite with family, he still has a graduate degree to complete at Virginia Tech.